Hi! You may have seen the episode where I made circle back discs, a game that we made up. Well, today we're going to make a box to hold them in because there are an awful lot of them and we needed a cool box to put them in. Here it is. Join us. Hi, this is Tweak. A few episodes ago, I created a game called Circle Back. It's a memory game for kids, and it has images placed on discs. Some of the images I drew myself, and some of them I gleaned from a coloring book. Great source for images. And I made all of these, and it's a fun game, and my grandson loves to play with them, but what am I going to keep them in? This is what we have been doing, is shoving them all into a basket and they go everywhere oh boy so I decided to come up with a sturdy box to hold all my circle back discs in and we're going to do that today supplies you'll need for this project are a box of your choice I chose a wooden box large enough to hold all the discs I made you'll need acrylic paints the colors of your choice you will need glue brushes water some varnish so let's go. Let's see, where shall I start? Just start anywhere. Start by making your color. I've got some acrylic blue here. But I think I'm going to augment it and mix up some other blues to go with. Let's see how the blue this looks. This blue is pretty. I'm going to make a goodly amount of it because I have the whole box to cover. I'm going to throw in a few of these other blues. I want some darker color added in. Some of that. Let's have some fun here. Mix our colors up. Let's put some of this. And I think I'm going to stop. Except I want a little touch of dark. Put in a little bit of gray. See what we come up with. Blue is my grandson's favorite color, so it's going to be blue. All right, mix up. Let's see what we get. It's getting a little more rich in color. I like that. Okay, there's our blue. And here we go. Let's see what happens. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. Okay, this is perfect. I'm going to give a nice coat to the outside the box. I'm not going inside. I'm going to let it dry and while it's drying I'll work on a few other little embellishments I'm going to add to it. Nice. I'll just keep going till I get the whole box covered in this lovely blue. is fully painted blue. Now it's a little rough on the inside, but I like that. I didn't want to neaten it all up. It's going to get used. Things are going to get thrown in and out, and that's perfect. So now is the time. I'm going to glue some letters on the top. And what I did was I picked up a bin full of little wooden letters. And I painted them. I'll show you how I did that. Very simple, simple, simple. The name of our game is Circle Back. So I'm going to take my little painted letters and I'm going to fix them with some glue on the top of the box. I have to decide how to place them on there. And I'm thinking, make it like a circle, fit them on here. 
I'm not being too particular. I just want it to be fun and make it look like a bit of a circle. There we go. Circle back. So what I'm gonna do is affix them with some glue. Now, I need my glue. I'm using a premium wood glue, fast drying. Let's see how this is gonna go. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on each letter. So I've got my letters affixed, I'm waiting for the glue to dry, and that gives me time to think about how do I want to embellish the rest of the box. Since this is a circle back box, I'd like to use the images that I used to create the discs and put them here on the box. So what I did was, a recap, I drew some of my own designs of toys and of pets, and then I shrunk them down 70% so that they'd fit on the size disc I was using. And what I would do is take one of these, let's see this one's already cut, take an image out of here. I'm just gonna do a rough cut. So I've got my little image here on a piece of paper. And I took my sticker maker. I love this thing. You put image side up, drop it into your little sticker maker, and pull it out like you would a tape dispenser. And the image shows up. And this is a rub and peel. So you rub on the image on the plastic. And then you peel this top layer off. Sticky part aside. And now you have a sticker. And that's what I used to put on my circle back discs. So I want to take those images and I made a bunch of them. So I want to play with this and put them all around the box. And then when I varnish it, they'll be there. I might do a little more embellishing. But for right now, I'm going to have some fun using these stickers and decorating the box. Here we go. I'm just taking the stickers and I'm putting them on my box. It's going to have more of a collage effect. Try not to touch. Oh, those guys are fixed already. And I'm just going to go around my box and put stickers all over. This is my artwork. Some of it is artwork I gleaned from somewhere else. A coloring book to be exact. Oh, i got to be careful. See, I don't want the kitty, I don't want the lizard. Grandson likes the lizard, so we'll put him on there. That's a start. If they don't quite want to stick, the varnish will help them stay affixed. There we go. I'm going to continue on. sticker to place and I'm going to embellish with a little bit of white paint and the last sticker I have here is for our logo for our Tweaks with Tweak. Might as well stick it on there and I'm going to put it on the back. Right here. And now these are starting to unstick a little bit but when I varnish they will all be down for good. So now what I'm gonna do, just cause one more thing, gotta do it. I'm gonna take a little bit of white paint, just a ditch of white paint, and just a little tool, and I'm just gonna add 
some white dots like I did on the letters. And I'm just going to dot here and there on the piece. Random dots. Here we go. Over here by Miss Dolly and I'm gonna call it good yep let them dry and I come after the whole thing with some varnish oh I added one more thing on the top didn't I always one more thing I put a little circle back images to go with our game and to help unite the dots um, if any of the stickers don't want to stick, I'm using just a little dot of combo glue. Just a tiny little dot to make sure they fix. Because next, I am going to varnish the whole thing. Here we go. We are done varnishing. One more thing to do, and we're gonna add some little furniture pads to the bottom. And this is just to protect the bottom a little bit, just to stick on a little piece of felt pad. And I would say that our circle back box is done. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> so what are we gonna do with it? Well, the whole reason why we made it was to put our circuit back discs into it. So let's open it up. That's pretty rough in there. We're going to dump all our circuit backs into it. Ready? Here we go. Yes. Okay. I think aside from the few that rolled, wow, the box is perfect. Look at that. Few more. There, look. Ah, wanna play? So there you have it. Our box is done. All ready to play the game and all contained when we're not. If you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to ring the bell so you see what episode's coming up next. This is a fun game. You can make it for yourself and enjoy it for years to come. We surely will. See you again.